Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're continuing on with some AP Calculus AB uh, 2010 free response questions, and here is number four. Let R be the region of the first quad in the first quadrant bounded by the graph y equals two root x, the horizontal line uh, y equals six, this line here, and the y-axis is shown in the figure above, so this region here. Find the area of R, okay? Um, the area would be the integral. I'm going to integrate over the x direction. I guess you could integrate over y. It doesn't really matter. From 0 to here. So this is uh, t equals 9. Integral from 0 to 9. What is the height of the rectangles that I'm adding up? This is always important to think about integral when you're doing areas. Is Think about the rectangle that I'm adding up. Okay, The width of this rectangle is dx. I know you didn't think about it like this, but like think of this. This is a representative rectangle. The height of this rectangle is 6 minus this function, 2 root x dx. And I want the height of that function in terms of x, right? Why, be why is this height 6 minus that? It's because this height is 6. The distance from here to here is 6. The distance from here to here this is uh, just y, which is equal to 2 root x, right? That's what the height here is. At a given x value, that's what this height is. So this height of this rectangle is the difference between two. Area of the rectangle is this is the height of the rectangle times the width, and so that's the area. Okay, so let's integrate this. Well, let's write this as, I always write it, even though you can probably do this, I always write this as x to the 1 half, so I can apply the power rule directly. So this is 6x minus 2x add 1, divide by that from 0 to 9. Okay, um, so we're going to do 6 times 9 minus 2. Oh, when I plug in 0 to 6x, it's, it's just 0. So 6 times 9 minus 6 times 0 minus 2 times 9 to the 3 halves over 3 halves minus 2 times 0 to the 3 halves over 3 halves right that's just me plugging in 9 and 0 on this side this is 0 because 0 to the 3 halves is just 0 0 times 2 is 0 divided by 3 halves is 0 um, so this is 54 minus let's let's figure this out 2 times 9 to the 3 halves well the square root of 9 is 3 3 cubed is 27 so that's 54 time um, over 3 halves which is times 2 thirds I bring this up. Um, yeah. Um, so if I do 54 times 2 thirds, I could do 54 divided by 3. That's 1, 2, 18, 18 times 2. So it's 54 minus 36. That equals 18. Okay. Write but do not evaluate an integral expression that gives the volume of the solid generator when r is rotated around the horizontal line y equals 7. Okay. So if I take my representative slice and I revolve it around here, like this slice, I'm going to revolve it. It's going to create a disk. Now let's look at some of the th parameters of the disk. This would be the inner radius, and this distance would be the outer radius. Okay, because it's going to make a disk like this. So the volume of this shape is the area of this disk. And that looks like a donut times the thickness of the disk. So I'm going to integrate from 0 to 9. Now, how do I find the area of this? I do the outer radius squared times pi. So it's pi outer radius. It's the area of the big circle minus area of the little circle. Pi r squared, big R. Let's find what's the length of this big R. Well, this is 7, and then this is here. So similarly, kind of like how this was 6 minus this function, this is 7 minus this. So this is 7 minus 2 root x squared minus pi times the inner radius. So this part here, pi r squared, is the area of the, the big circle. The minus the area of the little circle. The area of the little circle is just this. Now, the radius is always just 1, so it's just pi times 1 squared. Um, yep. And then I'm going to 
multiplied by the thickness of each disk, which is just dx. Okay, because I'm basically cutting up this region into little disks, right? And these disks are um, have an area and a thickness. This is the area and the thickness. So that would be part B. I'm not going to simplify it anymore. I mean, other than the one square I don't have to write, but yeah, like that. Region R is the base of a solid for each y between y equals 0 to x. The cross section is taken perpendicular to the y axis. Okay, so now I'm going to change colors a little bit. My, they're saying my um, each cross section whose rectangle is three times the length of its base in region R. So here, what we're doing is we're doing little cross cuts like this, and each of these is a rectangle whose height. So let's call okay. So let's let's draw the dimension of this sort of rectangular prism. This is dy because now we're slicing in the y direction. So I want an infinitesimal slice in the y, dy. This distance here. So let's let's I'm gonna try to draw it like three dimensionally a little bit. This is kind of like what's gonna fit right here. The thickness of this prism is dy. The width on the base here is given by this, and it's given by um, whatever the x value is. Um, I because I'm in, I'm going to integrate over y. I want like it's really the x value, like x minus zero. Like this length is just whatever the x coordinate is. But this curve is given by this. I can solve for x is equal to uh, 1 half y squared, right? y divided by 2 squared. This is 1 fourth y squared. So the x coordinate is given by 1 fourth y squared. So this is 1 fourth y squared. And then they say the height of this rectangle is 3 times this. So that would be 3 fourths y squared. OK. So um, oops. So when I want to do the volume of this thing, actually, I just finished doing it over here. The volume of this uh, this box is this times this times this. So the, the little volume of this little uh, rectangular prism that I've created is multiplying those. So it's 3 fourths y squared times 1 fourth y squared times dy. And that's equal to 3 sixteenths y to the fourth dy. So that's just the volume of just one of the prisms. But I want to add up the volume of all the prisms. So I'm going to integrate this from 0 to y equals 6, because I'm integrating over y. OK. And that does that one. Wait, was that it? Yeah, that was it. Eighteen. Seven minus two, 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 minus seven minus six squared. I just did the seven minus six and made it one. Three sixteenths y to the fourth. Zero to three. Three to sixteen y to four two y. Okay, perfect. So we got that one right. So hope you guys found that helpful, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.